everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. In today's video I am going to try and recreate a look that I actually created a few days ago with a makeup artist. Um, the makeup artist was Sophie from Bella Beauty in Cardiff and she was offering Skype and FaceTime lessons um, for two hours to kind of learn your own face and create a look of your choice so therefore I created this look up here and in today's video I want to try and recreate that look the best that I can using the techniques that she told me in this lesson so if you want to see how I did at trying to recreate this exact look then please keep watching Okay, so first I'm just going to give my face a spritz with my Prime and Perfect from Primark. Okay, so I'm just going to let that soak in. First off, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I never normally do my eyebrows on camera just because I take quite a long time and... I just think that you guys would find it boring but I am gonna have to do my brows on camera today I'm just gonna do the one show you how she kind of told me to do my brows and then go off camera and do the other one so as always I'm using <laughs> um, as always I'm using my precisely my brow pencil from benefit and I'm gonna just brush my brows up let me zoom you in slightly just so you can see so she advised to basically brush your eyebrows up as much as you can before doing them. As you can see, my eyebrows at the ends are really thin in comparison to what they are like right at the front. So like this. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with the tip. And she basically told me when I draw my eyebrow to basically do a straight line and go more towards the top of your ear than round and do it like that's how I normally do it. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully it'll end up looking as good as it did before. Okay, so I just need to go in then with my full brief powder just to fill in the gappy bits here at the front. You can see a little bit of eyebrow hair here, but I am going to carve out my brows so you won't be able to see those once I've done that. Um, so I'm just going to grab my full brief. I always call it full brief, full proof brow powder. I'm just going to take it in the darkest shade this time, just because I do want those gaps to be filled in. Okay, perfect. So the one eyebrow is done. It looks really crazy right now just because I haven't done the other one. So now what I'm going to do is the, exactly the same process off camera, come back and then I'm going to start carving out my brows. Okay, so now that I've done my other brow, I also just wanted to say that I also went in with this product. This is the Gimme Brow from Benefit just to like brush the hairs up and make them stay in place. So it kind of makes them look a bit more sort of full and like bushy I look crazy but next then we're gonna carve out my brows as you know if you've watched other makeup videos of mine you'll know that I never do this ever I've never carved out my brows and I yeah I just never used to do it but I felt like after this lesson you could see as soon as I'd done it how much more definition it gives gives your eyebrows and like kind of pulls your whole face together at the end so I'm just going to use um, as always my pro base full coverage concealer from MUA I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand like this so literally have just put that amount on and then just with a flat kind of puzzle brush like this this is stained from the concealer from Tuesday I'm just gonna go into my brows and carve them out so I will just zoom you in slightly just so you are able to see 
probably won't be able to talk much through this because it takes some serious concentration. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take the concealer then and put it all over my lids, ready to apply my eyeshadow. Okay, so my concealer is now on my eyes. It's not looking as flawless as it did the other day, purely because my eyes are so dry. So I'm not sure how the eye makeup is gonna turn out just because the skin is very flaky. Um, I have obviously moisturized it, but yeah. For my eyeshadow palette then, I went in with this. This is the Evolve palette from Beauty Bay. I have used this in previous videos and I love it. The range of colors in here is just Fab. like you literally have everything that you need and like there's a bit of color in there as well if you fancy doing something a bit more out there and um, as I said I wanted to learn how to kind of do like the perfect smoky eye lighter sort of around your sort of I don't even know what that part of the eye would be called where your tear duct is but it's going to be lighter here and then going out okay so I'm firstly going to go in with this color here this color here this is like a reddish brown colour and all I'm going to do with that is just pat it from the corner halfway up and then all over that kind of side of the lid. So this um, process is called loading um, as I found out and basically you are literally as I said just going from the corner here halfway and then sort of in to that bit. I've got my mirror here so if I am looking this way it's because my mirror is there so I'm literally just gonna dab my brush into that color tap off any excess and I'm just gonna press the color on you're literally following as well the, the like the line in your eyes the where your eye naturally creases Again, I'm just going to do it on the one eye, show you how I do it on the one eye and then I'll go off camera and do the other eye and then we can get onto skin. Um, just because otherwise we'll be here literally all day. Okay, so I'm now going to take the same brush, I'm just going to clean that excess colour off. And then I'm going to take this brown colour here and just dab my brush. Okay, so now it still looks a little bit crazy as it's just on the one eye. I'm going to take a different brush, just a little brush like this, and I'm going to take it in this peachy colour here. And this is what I'm going to put on my lash line and just do it really faint and just drag it. Going to take my concealer brush again, pop a tiny bit of concealer on the back of my hand again. And I'm literally just going to take it from here to the like over until ha over half of my lid I'm then going to take this tiny little brush and I'm going to take this colour here and then I'm going to pat that then over the concealer
Okay, so now that I've added the lightness in the corner and blended the shadows, I'm now just going to stick some lashes on. And then after that, then I'm going to go off camera, do the other eye, clean up underneath all my eyes so that they look relatively normal, and then we'll get onto my foundation. So the lashes that I am going to be using are these. These are Doll Beauty. I think these are Gloria style. I will double check. Um, but these are just a really nice like big lash so I'm going to as I said chuck my lashes on go off camera do the other eye sort out the under eye and then I will be back okay so lashes are on I feel like this eye look hasn't turned out probably exactly the same I feel like the darker brown is definitely more prominent than the reddish brown in this look however I have managed to do like the light in a corner and yeah I'm not mad at it to be honest I think it's turned out okay better than I expected I thought it was just going to be a hot mess and that it was just going to look really dreadful so for skin then I said that I wanted to go for a really dewy looking skin that is my go-to whenever I do my foundation so I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do differently or any products that I could use differently in order to get really dewy skin and um, so the first thing that we used was some sort of serum or oil so I used my Ole Henriksen truth serum so I'm just going to use that now I literally just use like a pea sized amount and just use my hands then to rub this into the skin this just gives it a really nice like shine underneath my foundation and it smells really good and it's really good for my skin as well really like nourishing so as always L'Oreal True Match for my foundation if I want a really really full coverage then I use my Kat Von D um, Lock It foundation so I literally have just like popped a bit on the back of my hand as always then I'm just gonna put this in like dollops all over my face so this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to buff my foundation in with a brush. I never ever do this. Um, I have kind of been getting into it, but I felt like using a brush you makes such a difference than using a, a beauty blender. Um, so yeah, this is what we did in the lesson. Just patting, like pressing the foundation onto the skin. And honestly, you can tell the difference by doing this to using a beauty blender okay amazing then back to my concealer so again this was very different for me I don't use much concealer as you will have noticed if you've watched my previous makeup videos however in this lesson we took the concealer from the inner corner down we then took it from the edge of my nose up like so and then in and then fill in that essential that's essentially you've made a triangle from here to here to here and then you just fill in the triangle that you have made with your concealer so again down the edge of your nose from here up to the corner of your eye and then just in here and then fill all of that in quite a lot more concealer than I would usually use I then take my brush again and do the same thing that I did with my foundation but for my concealer obviously I'm not going to be able to get into the inner corner so for that I'm just literally gonna pat my finger and do it so Okay, amazing and then I'm literally just going in then with my finger to pat in the rest okay. 
Okay, fab. So now that that is done, the next stage of her process was a loose powder. As you know, I don't ever use a loose powder. However, I feel like if I'm going to use this much concealer that I do need something to set it down. I have done quite a large order on Feel Unique, so stay tuned for that one. There will be lots of different products in there, but one of the products was a loose powder. And now I am just going to leave it as it is um, and go into bronzer. So again, I'm using my Too Faced bronzer. This is my favourite. It's the nicest colour and I just really like it. And I'm actually using this with the brush that I usually use for highlighter. So I literally dip this in and I literally go around here around my temples and then down onto my cheekbones again this kind of technique just makes my makeup look a lot more snatched so i'm hoping that i can do it justice and make it look as good as it did the other day so again i'm just swirling my brush into my bronzer and then i'm literally doing circular motions up and down There, that that has just given my face instant colour. My face looks healthy, it's glowing, it's just really, really nice. I really like that technique actually because as I said, it kind of pulls everything together. It doesn't look too over the top, like you aren't literally covered in bronzer. It's just, yeah, it just looks really nice. I am so glad that I've kind of learned that from her because that is something that I'll definitely be incorporating into my makeup routine going forward. Next then was highlighter. Um, so I am going in with my Illamasqua uh, beyond powder because this is my favorite so i actually used this brush to do my highlights just because my usual brush i had obviously used to do my bronzer i'm literally just dipping this into the palette i don't want a massive amount and i'm literally just dusting the highlight on my cheekbones like so as you can see, this is such a nice highlight, such a lovely colour. Now for this makeup I didn't actually use any blusher so this was kind of it for skin. So I'm now going to go in and finish off my under eye. So taking my Beauty Bay palette I'm literally just dabbing my brush in that kind of burnt red orangey kind of colour. And very lightly just running it under my lash line. So, and then also going to take some eye pencil. So this is actually from Kiko. This is a really, really good black eye pencil. I'm just going to take this brush to pull my foundation here. And then lastly then for the eyes, I'm just going to take my mascara and do my bottom lashes. Okay, so the last thing now for the completed look is lips. I'm just going in with my usual combo my Primark combo lipstick and lip liner so I'm just gonna line my lips quickly and then I just take my lipstick Fine. 
finally then I'm just going to go back in with my prime and infuse not prime and perfect prime and infuse spray from Primark And there we have it this is the finished makeup look it doesn't look exactly like Wednesday's but I'm really happy with it and um, I think the skin looks very very similar I think it's purely just the eyes and the color matchings of the shadows I think I maybe went too harsh on the darker brown rather than the like the red color um, but yeah I'm so happy with how this turned out actually so yeah that is it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed watching and um, if you would like to see more more videos like this then please let me know down below in the comments um, and yeah if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me um, but yeah that's it from me I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all very soon with a brand new video bye